The story of Lagos is quite a complex one. Um, the housing challenge is not limited to the poor. We have challenges of availability. We have three million housing deficit in Lagos. And for 700 units that are estimated needed annually, we're only able to produce 100,000, primarily because there's no capacity to do better than that. Affordability is also an issue because um, less than 10% of those who desire homes can afford it, and 95% of land transactions is very informal and it's very messy. The quality of housing is problematic. About 69% of Lagosians live in 200, um, more than 200 informal settlements, and about 69% of them work in informality. Incidentally, about 18 million of our 23 million residents earn less than $2 a day. And we also have contextualized needs. The housing market is targeting mainly middle and high income earners. And so how is the city responding to the housing challenge? The two dominant um, phenomena in the housing sector are aspirational infrastructure and gentrification. So the response to Lagos housing challenge is Eco-Atlantic City. When it started, we thought it was just an idea, but people are living there now. Very few people, but people are living there. But the thing is, if a two-bedroom apartment costs $710,000. Not many people around the world <laughs> can afford that. But that is being sold as a solution to the Lagos housing challenge. Okay, and for somebody who lives in an informal community that sees this thing, because it's all over the place, the basic thing is where are normal people going to sleep tonight? We, uh, the average Lagosian cannot see his or herself in what is being designed. And then it takes us to um, what the government is prov um, providing. And um, the government is targeting 14,000 units by the year 2020, which is a very low ambitious ambition. And um, the conditions for providing these um, units are also very impractical because a 10-year loan tenure with a 5% down payment at commercial rates is just not workable for most people. And even the level of production is very low. If you have a target of 14,000 units by 2020 and you've only been able to produce about 1,500 alongside with cases of spatial dis displacements of many of the citizens, then there's a big problem. And then we have issues of local communities being displaced, given the, ta um, the toga of informality. This is a village, a fishing village that just happened, you know, to be, to end up being um, affected by the urban growth. And so in spite of um, a court judgment, you know, the, we had eviction by fire, people died, and this is what it is now. Periwinkle Estate has been sold for about 50 million naira, and people, some, well, some people can afford it, but not many people. Less than 1% of Lagosians today can afford it, but this is, be, this is what is, be, is on the housing market. People are providing housing in the way they, they know how, and what is dominant in Lagos is the power of cooperatives. They're self-professioning, there's cooperative land assembly, there's cooperative accessing of loans, and people are able to pull resources in communities of trust to provide housing. And so I believe if we're going to work on housing, if we're going to find a workable solution to housing in Lagos, we need to step away from this romantic ideal of um, Lagos resembling Dubai in a few years and move from housing as an economic good to housing as a social good that responds to the needs of the residents, recognize the local agency and community practices of those who are currently working the housing according to the needs of the residents, and then provide a flexible um, planning framework that doesn't continue to criminalize what people are doing for themselves. Thank you.